So today I'm going to go ahead and do an eye look today using the new Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. If you haven't seen my first impressions video, I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards for you. You can go ahead and check that out. I definitely wanted to create more looks using this eyeshadow palette, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm not sure what I'm going to be creating with this and what the direction I'm going for, but go ahead and keep so the watching. The first shadow that I'm going to go pick up today is Riff, which is this matte brown shade right here. I'm just going to go ahead and use that as my transition. If you're wondering, this is the Brush Luxie 205 Taper Blending Brush. Next, I'm going to pick up the shade Baja, which is this very bright, vibrant matte orange shade with my Luxie 229 Taper Blending. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the, put it underneath the previous shade. And I'm just going to blend those two shadows together. I always like to first place the shadows on the outer corner first because that's where I want the biggest punch of shadow and then once I sort of have it blended then I slowly drag it in towards my inner corners. Alright and then I want to go into this very very like pretty like light bluish teal shade called a Big Sky right over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use, I'm gonna go ahead and actually use some concealer. I'm just gonna ahead, go ahead and use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I'm just gonna put on this flat brush and I'm just going to cut it out. And the same thing, I like to cut it on top of my natural crease because when I open my eyes, it would just disappear so and then on the other side of the brush that's clean or semi clean I'm gonna pick up the shade big sexy and I'm gonna put that closer to the inner corners and I'm just gonna go ahead and go halfway and then I'm going to pick up the shade Radio, which is the deeper blue shade right next to it. And I'm just going to go ahead and place it on the middle to outer of wherever I had cut the crease. And I just blend the two shadows together. So there's no harsh line where it starts and ends. All right, I'm gonna go back into Baja and Riff and I'm gonna just mix both shades. Kind of just bring back the shadow, it kind of disappeared. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the shade Punk, which is this matte deep brown with my Luxie 131 Mini Angled. And wherever that blue ends and that transition shade begins, I'm actually gonna go right in the middle of that and I'm just gonna create like a deep in-depth right there. I'm kind of just gonna take it out a little bit farther. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Baja again. And I'm just going to go ahead and focus this on the outer corner. And then I really like this Ignite shade. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up with my Morphe M508 brush. Ignite, it's like a very bronzy shimmer shade. Or metallic shade actually. And I'm going to put that like right on the inner to the middle. Ooh, I love this mirror. And then I'm gonna highlight my brows with the shade Breakaway. It's this very night, um, it's like it has a sheen to it. And then I'm gonna pick up the shade Stranded with my Luxie 141 Mini Round. 
And I'm gonna just put that right in the inner corners. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!